Hey guys, so today I want to take you with me as I look through an old art portfolio that I made in high school. Some of these things I still have. Some of these things I don't know where they are. Some of these things I didn't keep. Um, etc, etc, etc. So let's take a look. Let's laugh at some of the terrible things that I've made in, in school. Let's take a little look. Shall we? Okay, so just to start off this title page, uh, the photo is actually something that I took uh, when I was in Europe the very first time. It was my first time outside of the country, my first time on a plane, lots of firsts, and one of the places that we went was Lucerne, Switzerland. This bridge is very famous. I forget what it's called, but they always plant flowers on it, and they are different colors every year, which is really fun. I will just comment <laughs> on my, like, text over it. It looks so lame. <laughs> like, oh, I could do so much better now. But anyway, so let's just start looking at what I have here. So I believe I have these separated by class that I've taken and by, like, what it is. So I guess this is going to be the sculpture section. Okay, so I do remember this. It busted, and I don't think that it exists anymore. But I did really enjoy this. I'm guessing it was to make a pot or to make something natural. I don't know. It is really cute. I kind of wish it still existed because I would put a plant in it for sure. I should see if I can find it because it is pretty cute. I did some cute mushrooms. Um, okay, so this one I do remember making. This one I never actually brought home. This, I believe, was my senior year of high school I made this. My teacher had gotten, like, a bunch of these styrofoam heads. I do remember making it. I did leave it at the high school. I kind of sort of donated it to her. I don't know where it is now. It probably ended up getting trashed, truthfully. But, um, it was kind of like a self-portrait. I was in high school and I just I wasn't <sighs> having a good time. I felt like I was just waiting to graduate and I felt like I was trapped and just once I could graduate then you know the rope like holding me there would be cut and I could just be free to go. My whole concept was really just the bird with the rope tying it, tethering it to a place. Um, but everything else just kind of went with the theme, uh, the way that I decorated the head itself. But, um, the bird I'm really proud of. I used some turkey feathers that, um, I had at my parents' house, uh, because my dad would go hunting and stuff. But yeah, I used wire to kind of, uh, do the feet. And then I also used wire to make it attached to the head so that it was like sticking out. Um, and then I think I covered it in twine or something, but yeah, that one's a good one. Uh, oh, this project, this was also senior year. This one, the concept never came to life the way that I envisioned it. And I still have, uh, the watercolor pieces. So the cloud, the moon and the shooting star, I still have all of those pieces. I still plan to recreate this piece so that it really comes to life the way I had originally envisioned it. But the concept was that you had to create a mobile after I came up with the moon and the clouds. I felt like I was starting to run out of ideas. The shooting star is pretty solid still. I do like it. I am pleased with it. But in the right hand side picture, you can kind of see there is a raindrop in the back. There's also a, ro a stone that I just tied with some like string and made it look sort of fancy. I'm not super pleased with those two pieces. It was a cute project. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but one day I will recreate it again. This soapstone project was a carving project. This one was really difficult for me. I had a hard time uh, trying to make it look how I wanted it to. I also felt like as I was creating it, it seemed like the of stone that I had selected wasn't super perfectly the right size for the carving I was trying to make. What I wanted was for it to look like a mother with a baby. I wanted the mother to not be skinny, but she's not pregnant. She's just, I just wanted her to be kind of like 
natural feminine kind of like full bodied, um, I guess is what I could say. So that's what I was going for. Um, some strong points in it are the feet or well, not both of the feet, just the one on the left hand side. The left hand side, I feel like I got the arch of the foot pretty decently. I got the leg pretty decently. The right hand side, that picture, I don't really like the foot there. The leg is just okay. Um, the back, I did try to kind of have like a good, I feel like I did a decent job with the curvature and everything. Uh, the head and where the baby is, I kind of started to run out of room in the soapstone. So the baby's head is smaller and flatter than I would have liked it to be. Um, where her arms are along the back there, it's very flat and straight. That's because that was also where the edge of the stone was. Um, overall for a very first carving, I mean, it's really not bad. Now, I mean, I'm looking at it. It's really not bad. It's pretty cute. But yeah, when I made it, I wasn't like super proud of it. I was like, it, it was, it mostly got the point across, but wasn't precisely what I was going for. So this one, I don't even really remember making. Honest to God. I don't know if this was in a class. I don't know. I mean, clearly I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, I didn't enjoy this project. I didn't really, this was kind of like whatever. Um, it's kind of, to me, I'm looking at it and I'm like, it, it looks fucking weird. It looks weird. Not a fan. Next. Ceramics. This was a class that I took in high school. Uh, so the coils. So for the coil project, I made a whole bunch of miniature animals. Um, the turtle was mainly like the coil project. And then the snake and the octopus were just kind of extras because these are all very small. They're like smaller than they fit in my hand. Uh, I still have all of these. I like to put them in by my plants. I, uh, my, the octopus is probably like my absolute favorite mini animal that I have. The snake is all right. Uh, I wish that the glaze would have come out cooler for the snake because it is a little bit like kind of boring, but the turtle is really cool. I do like it. It's super cute. Um, soft slab. This I also still have. I do have it in my bathroom right now. I have also used it, uh, to put it out at markets, uh, to set up my bracelets. It's really cute. I am really happy with it. I'm proud of it. This one is also super cute. Uh, soft slab. So for this project, we had a soft slab and so I turned it into a circular kind of mug. Um, I wanted it to be a mug. I think I've drank out of it maybe twice. Uh, now I have a plant in it because it just is kind of awkward to drink out of because of the, the top edge is not, it's just weird. It's a weird thing to drink out of, but it's super cute. I love it. It's still around stiff slab. So for this, wow, I don't remember making that square piece in the middle, in the middle. But the triangle piece I have, I finally was able to put it to use. The whole purpose of it was that I had seen a picture of a hanging plant pot and it was triangular and it just looked really cool. So that's what I wanted to make. In the bottom left hand corner, I believe we had to make it into a box. I think that was like, like it had to have a lid. So that was my lid for it. I don't know where that is now. Choice one, I wanted to make like a tea set. That was what I was going for. The look didn't quite turn out precisely how I wanted. Some of the glazes weren't exactly what I was envisioning, but um, overall still a really solid set. Um, the only piece I'm not sure where it is, is the one that looks like a vase up in the upper left-hand corner. The plate I have in my room, the pouring spout one I have in my room, some of all of these, uh, like the cups and then the sugar bowl, those are all kind of around. They're in places. I've used them for plants, um, different things like that. This was my choice two project. Um, I made a bunch of miniature clay things. You can see there's a shopkin. It is poppycorn. I made that for my little sister. 
she probably still has it somewhere. The little earths on the right hand side, I made those to make into posts, like earrings. I've got some green succulents in there, the strawberries. Uh, the very top pink one is going to be a macaroon. I do still have all of those. Advanced art. That was another class. Uh, that was my senior year, I think. Okay. I apologize if my voice sounds different. My phone keeps running out of space, so we're going to have to try a different way of doing this. Okay. So this project, um, the assignment was to do a landscape. Uh, at the time, I was really very much invested in and interested in um, climate change and protecting the environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it was a like a main interest of mine at the time. Um, I'm still like interested in it, but it's just not as like forefront as it was at the time. But anyway, um, so this one, my idea, it didn't come out precisely how I had envisioned it in my head, just because I think the idea in my head was slightly more um, detailed. But still good, got the point across. It was on display in town uh, during an event. I don't remember what the event was. But uh, the right-hand side is be destroyed. You can see the sign in the center, or just off center. Um, and then the left hand side is destroy. So the concept was destroy or be destroyed. That was the title of the piece. Um, basically, either we can keep going down a really crappy path and destroy everything and regret it, or, you know, we can keep going down a, a different crappy path and end up being destroyed by ourselves. So either we destroy the earth or we'll destroy ourselves. Those are our current, like, paths um, if we don't make change. But anyway, it was in watercolors. I do love my watercolors. Oh, this project. Oh, it's my favorite, favorite. Oh, I have to remake this. It was artist-inspired. So my artist, of course, was Monet. Uh, with the water lilies and the bridge. And so the center, uh, I've got my little bridge that I made. I still have it because I can't part with it because it's so perfect. The water, um, I don't know what happened to it. I don't have it anymore. I'd have to remake it. But it's literally just layers of Maj Paj on top of a paper painted blue and then little cut out cardboard painted lily pads and tissue paper flowers put into the top of the layers so that it looks like water. And then I use plants, um, it's in a basket. Unfortunately, this very first version wasn't well thought out because I didn't put a lining so when I watered it, like dirt would kind of seep out and that was just kind of dumb. But um, if you'll notice, uh, I did add the little plants that look like they're painted and I chose that specifically because of how they look kind of like impressionist painting so self-portrait this was one where I was just basically envisioning myself as I was currently versus what I wanted for the future um, so the left hand side is myself in high school you can see the lockers going down into the background on the right hand side it is myself in the future. The background was kind of based off of like Scotland or Ireland or something. Just somewhere not <laughs> not home. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. I don't really like it. It's just kind of lame if you ask me. But um, I, I never liked doing self-portraits though. That was kind of half of it. That was like one of the things that I just couldn't stand. So sculpture. This piece, I love it. It did not uh, hold up it kind of disintegrated and so it doesn't exist anymore. But I uh, use things for that I found in my backyard to create a lamp that looked like a beehive. And the yellow on the beehive, that is beeswax um, because at the time my parents had bees and this was made during like late fall. So we did have uh, a couple freezes that caused the bees to cause some of the bees to not make it back to the hive in time before it got like randomly really cold. So there are some actual bees on there that I had found on the driveway that just hadn't made it in when it froze, got too cold before they could make it back home. Um, so I did add those 
to the hive. Some of my classmates thought that was weird, but, and I guess it sort of is, but also, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's lights in the beehive. It was like, the beehive itself was like most of like the sculptural kind of thing. But um, the problem with it was that the rock on the bottom as the base was not totally solid. And also, although I tried to spray uh, all of the natural elements, so the pine and the leaves at the bottom, with like a coating so that they would last longer. It just, it didn't really work. So it did kind of disintegrate. This was a project that I ended up putting on a t-shirt for a multicultural club. And um, my concept was just like, you know, there's little parts of people that are very different, but also totally the same. And so I guess what I wanted to do was I took the hands, which is something similar to everybody in the world, but also like tried to make them from different cultures, I guess. So um, I did like lots of f like photographic research, I guess you could say, um, where like I was really trying to look for things that were accurate and represented different cultures, I guess. Um, which is why I was really, I was really trying to focus on like the bracelets or like there's the henna and stuff. Um, but, you know, so, anyway, I, I still like it. It's a, it's a cool painting. It's hanging at my parents' house. Um, yeah. Choice two. This was actually one that I didn't make for class, but I didn't know what to do for my choice two, so I ended up just saying it was for class and bringing it to class and saying, here's my finished project. Um, but this is something that I made when I redid my bedroom in high school. Uh, it used to be, like, blue with, like, butterflies and stuff, and then I decided that I wanted to paint it, like, a cream color and redo the, de the decorations and stuff. So this is something that I made. Um... I think I had found a picture online that was something similar to it and just kind of recreated it, but I still have it. It hangs in my room now and I love it. It's super cute. Graphics class. This was junior year. Advertisement project. I just picked my lip balm and I stuck it into a potted plant and misted it and that's what I came up with. It's not great, but also it's not bad. I feel like if I change something, it would be the text, but I feel like the image itself really isn't that bad. Short depth of field. So in graphics class, it was divided into two sections. It was photography, and then we also did uh, like Photoshop. That was like the two halves of the class. So this is the photography half of the class. This is just, you know, basically focusing on each item and I have nothing to say about this. I hate still life. Portraits with lighting. Um, this is my friend Daniel. He was a foreign exchange student uh, in uh, at my school junior year. But anyway, uh, this project, this assignment was just to use different lighting and also talking about um, exposure, I think, too. So you can see like the right hand side is a little bit too bright, the left hand side is a little bit too dark, and the middle is just right. Uh, black light, we were, we did have some black lights, and so we did, uh, some face paint and stuff. This was just kind of a fun thing. Um, we did some different things. Oh, this project! I totally forgot about this project. Typography. So, the assignment was to use the, like, typography functions that you can on, um, Photoshop and you would do it over like a picture. And so this one I took a picture of my little sister and I shaped the text to go with like her face. So you can see like around the nose it's shaped differently and it goes around the eyes and oh, it's so cute. And then I think also, yeah, all of the words have something to do with my little sister. That is one that I should really, I should look at that more in depth, and that one's super cute. I love it. People. Um, this was just a picture I took when I was on vacation in California. Um, this one I took in the backyard. Like, sometimes I would just take pictures of her. I had so many pictures of her. But dandelion, and then in color... That one's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Animals, we did take a trip to the zoo um, 
to take pictures of animals. That one's pretty cute. Architecture. This is a picture from uh, Germany where my previous. A lot of, for photography, there were some things that, like, I just kind of combed through old pictures, like, pictures that I had already taken throughout, like, the last maybe year prior, maybe two years prior to taking this class, and I just kind of applied them to, um, the themes, because we went on some field trips, and we could use outside pictures and take, like, the cameras home, so I ended up using, this one was in Chicago, this was on a different field trip, oh, that one is such a great picture. We were going to a museum, and along the bridge that you walk on, it was, like, the perfect picture, so... Also, a lot of these are taken on my iPad that I had in high school. Seascapes, um, same deal. This was a vacation picture. Obviously, vacation picture, vacation picture, vacation picture, vacation picture. Also in Germany, also in California. Like, yeah, most of these are just reusing. Oh, wow. Uh, that was... <laughs> that was... Wow, okay. Just random pictures around the school. This is when they were doing the construction and just taking pictures of people randomly after school. This one, Choice, uh, this was from a trip to California. Also, it's at Disney. This one was in, the Bean in Chicago. Uh, Old World poster. This was something Old World had reached out to our my teacher and then she made it into an assignment and then whoever won... Like, they would pick one of them, and then I think we might have won something if we won. But I didn't win. Um, but we were just, that we went and took a field trip to Old World, Wisconsin, and then we took pictures, and then we kind of had to make, like, a border around for this photo contest, um, for this poster that they needed. Painting. This was my sophomore year of high school. Sumi. Ah, oh, see, I always forget what this painting style is called. Um... I have used it or done things similar to it um, in other places, like in other pieces and things uh, since this class, but that was super fun. I remember the thing that I learned the most about it was to just be more free and not so concerned about perfectionism. Just some more puzzle painting. Okay, I still have this. It has lost a few of its pieces. I am thinking, I have decided that I'm going to reinvent it. I love this project. It was so much fun. If you can't tell, they're all Disney movies. So the bottom left is The Little Mermaid. The top right is Frozen. The center is, um, well, I guess... The bottom right is Pocahontas, and then the top left is um, Rapunzel, and then the top middle is Peter Pan. I love this project so much. It was so much fun. We used watercolors. Uh, it's 3D. It's just, like, I love it. So, I have never been able to get rid of it. There was a time a few years ago when I thought maybe I would just try and sell it, um, but now I have decided that I am just going to recreate it. I'm going to remodel it into something smaller maybe or just that something that'll hold up a little bit better because it ha it has been like stored for a really long time and moved around so pieces have fallen off. I think I have been able to retain most of the pieces but some of them may have disappeared. Lifeline. This project was really fun. Um, I kind of liked it before I added color better. Uh, I also liked my sketch, my like concept sketch prior to painting it a little bit better than the final project also. Um, but the concept was that you would have like a timeline essentially of your life. So I chose to represent myself as a rose. Um, the left hand side is like being born and then you have been picked so I was like cut from the vine I guess and then I'm kind of traveling along and then in the center it like high school was high school you know it's not always really freaking great 
And um, the mirror that's actually featured in this painting is from um, the TV show Once Upon a Time. Well, I mean, you can kind of get the feel for it. Fabric painting. This design is one that I have uh, sketched and doodled a bunch of times. This one, it was that we used wax to resist um, in order to make um, a design, and then we painted on the dye onto the fabric. It was pretty fun. Artist study. I love this piece so much. The assignment was to take two artists and merge them. Take two, two artists, um, a painting from or a piece from each artist and merge them. And we were using, um, it's oil pastels that I used. And I just love how this turned out. It worked so well. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Art foundations. This would have been freshman year, I think. Yeah, freshman year. This one I forgot about. I hate it so much. I'm not sure if it ever came home. I... I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so weird. <laughs> Color scheme portrait. My eyes look so freaking weird in this. Oh my gosh. Okay. But, um, I don't like it. It's whatever. It is what it is. It's just another school project kind of thing where we were learning about the colors and whatever. Pointillism pencil drawing. Oh my god. I hated this project so much. I hate still lifes, okay? I hate drawing random objects on a table that were just picked out from a bunch of random crap that somebody had, and oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. The large picture is just a pencil drawing. The right-hand side um, has two smaller squares, which are sections of the pencil drawing that we then recreated in pointillism. I hated this project. I vividly remember how much I hated it. Perspective pencil drawing. This one was okay. It was kind of boring. I didn't love it. It's not a great drawing. Oh, that was the end. Wow. Okay, well, there you have it. That's not every, uh, that is not every project ever that I've made in school. That's just high school. Um, it does not include middle school. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, beautiful day.